I want to go across live to the UN headquarters at this moment. Joining us from there is India's uh, permanent representative to the United Nations, one of uh, the most renowned uh, uh, diplomats uh, of the Indian Foreign Services at this moment. Ruchira Kamboj joins us uh, on India Today. Uh, Ambassador Kamboj, thank you so much for your time and it's great to have you with us on India Today as we count down uh, to the big International Yoga Day celebrations at the United Nations. You're the one who's bringing this entire uh, program together at the UN headquarters. Uh, could you start by giving us a sense of the kind of preparations that are currently underway in New York at the UN headquarters for the big celebration of the International Yoga Day? Well, uh, thank you, Rahul. It's good to see you. And my greetings to all viewers in India. As to the question, let me say that the response is indeed overwhelming. We uh, expect the international community at the UN to participate uh, uh, in the thousands, if I may say so. There are 193 countries, and we expect ma maximum participation. I would say the unique feature of this event is that while every year we celebrate yoga, this year, such a large participation from the international community at one place, and that too at the level of you know, opinion makers and influencers in their own right from different countries. This is quite unique. These are powerful signals and indicate two things. One, the popularity of yoga as Indian cultural heritage, and two, the standing of India as a country. This could have been well done at Central Park or any other place in New York. Why have you picked the United Nations headquarters as the location for the celebration of the International Yoga Day? And what's the thinking behind bringing the Prime Minister to the United Nations headquarters for this particular program? Well, um, as you know, this is a UN mandated day here. So let me step back a bit and let me take you back in recent history. You would recall that in December 2014, the General Assembly of the United Nations had adopted a resolution to declare 21 June as International Yoga Day with 177 co-sponsors upon Prime Minister Modi's initiation. So no other platform, I would say, offers such a full spectrum of all countries across the world and the UN was therefore the best choice and sends the most powerful signal of yoga's acceptance and popularity. Outside of this one International Yoga Day, are you seeing a general uptake in the kind of interest around yoga uh, at the United Nations headquarters, among member countries of the UN? Is this just symbolic or is it actually something which is uh, you know, now gaining more interest than in the past? Definitely the latter. I will say that since the declaration of International Yoga Day, the UN itself has created an International Yoga Day Committee, which every year is a part of the Yoga Day celebrations at the United Nations. Then there are also yoga clubs in the UN, which are very popular and which have as its members the different member states of the United Nations. But I would say that the unique feature this year is the Prime Minister himself being a part of the celebrations with members and countries not only represented at the highest levels, but in overwhelming numbers. You know, there's so much being spoken about the United Nations and the kind of relevance it has at a time when there are so many global crises and the UN hasn't been central to trying to solve some of the big uh, problems of the day. Is this in some ways also suggestive to the extent that it is of India's interest in keeping the United Nations going as an active global concern in whatever form and shape possible at the moment? Well, India is a committed multilateralist and, of course, as you know, a founder member of the United Nations. And while what you say uh, is not untrue, the UN has its critics, but there is no other geopolitical platform which offers more return on your investment, given that we are able to touch the full spectrum of nation states here in one go. Okay, and outside of all of this, have you been practicing some yoga as well? Is this something that you do, Ambassador? Or is this something that you're just going to be doing for this particular day? Or is it a part of what you've been doing of late? No, no, no. Uh, um, I think I'm definitely going to be a part of International Yoga Day. And I do practice yoga like many other Indians. And I must say that it does make the difference.
Oh, fantastic. And we're looking forward to seeing you at the United Nations headquarters on International Yoga Day. Ambassador Kamboj, I know you have a very, very busy schedule. Uh, and from that uh, very packed calendar, squeezing a few minutes uh, for us, thank you very much. It means the world to us. All the best. And we hope to see you in person soon. Thank you, Rahul. My pleasure. Thank you.